Ladies and gentlemen, practice three, day two for the Indianapolis 500, 108th running, 2024 is in the books, done and dusted. And let me say, today was a Penske show. Let me, I don't, I mean, they ran similar, Scott McLaughlin P1, then Will Power P2, Colton Hart P3, Joseph Newgarden P4, and Alexander Rossi, my boy, rounding out the top five. So an interesting uh, result today. It's Chevy dominated. We had um, one Honda in the top five, or you could say top three if Colton Herta coming in in third place for Andretti Global. So um, what can we take away from today? I mean, McLaughlin went the same speed as um, uh, uh, Dixon did yesterday. I mean, I was quite shocked to see Penske all up there, all four of them, although I don't know if that's their true pace. I, I expect two Penske cars in the Fast 12, and the other one would be like 15th or whatnot. I mean, I, I mean obviously, Penske being at the front for the Indy 500 is no surprise. Fully expect them to be there. Um, Andretti up there with Colton Herta. I expect Andretti. I think one of the Andretti cars will probably win this race, probably. It's not my locked in. Sorry. Um, like like what I think yet, and then no surprise to see Alexander Rossi strong, he's always strong at Indy, any year could be Rossi's year to win his second Indy 500 championship, um, at the back, no surprise, as I said, I mean, Marco Andretti was back there, but that's just because he had a really low running day, and his car had some problems, but Humkos Hollinger, who I was personally surprised to see back there, I expected Humkos to be a lot faster, both Augusta and Roman had problems and were complaining, so you got to be scared if you're a Humkos and also Dale Coyne, but we all pretty much knew Dale Coyne would be back there. So, I mean, I, I could see the last row shootout being two Humkos and two Dale Coyne cars. I mean, those four cars, to me, looked like the slowest cars out there today. Um, I, I, I It's just, you can take... Yesterday we got zero knowledge. I would say today you can take 10%. I would say we can take 10... 10% of the knowledge we got today. Penske's probably going to be fast, and I would say Humkos and DeCoin are going to be in the back. Um, I don't know if Penske are going to outright rule the 500. I would say no. I would say it's going to be uh, a race between a lot of teams. I would say, I think Ray Hall's going to improve. I don't know if they'll be there. I think McLaren's going to be there. Andretti's going to be there. And, of course, Ganassi's going to be there. Um, I think you'll get a surprise team. I could see it being Meyer Shank. Dry Ramble. I mean, we just have a lot of teams that are going to be there that I don't think showed their true pace today. I think where we're going to learn a lot is Friday on Fast Friday, but the weather's not looking good, so we might just um, see tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably going to be a lot of qualifying trim. So tomorrow might tell a little bit, but not too much because they don't have the uh, horsepower um, kicked in yet. That's what happens Friday, hence why it's called Fast Friday. If Fast Friday gets rained out, I'm going to say we'll, we'll, we'll learn who's good and who's bad. It's probably Saturday, which I can confirm I will be there unless something goes really wrong. So I should be there and getting interviews. And if you're watching these videos, please just share it to someone because I'm trying to get this channel to 500 subscribers by the end of the month, and I'm just trying to promote and promote the 500. So share it to a friend that doesn't know racing. It means the world to me. I should be at the track for qualifying, getting interviews Saturday and Sunday, like how I did my NDGP coverage. So that's what I think we can take from today. Um, tomorrow, I expect full full running, no interruptions with rain, and everything looks beautiful. So with further, without further ado, see ya.